Hunter Adams. Will you define treatment for me? Yes, treatment would be defined as the care of a patient seeking medical attention. Have you been treating patients, Mr. Adams? Well, sir, I live with several people. They come and go as they please. I offer them whatever help I can. Mr. Adams, have you or have you not been treating patients at your ranch? Everyone who comes to the ranch is a patient, yes. And every person who comes to the ranch is also a doctor. I'm sorry. Every person who comes to the ranch is in need of some form of physical or mental help. They're patients. But also every person who comes to the ranch is in charge of taking care of someone else. Whether it's cooking for them, cleaning them, or even a simple task as listening. That makes them doctors. I use that term broadly, gentlemen, but is not a doctor someone who helps someone else? When did the term doctor get treated with such reverence as, oh, right this way, Dr. Smith, or, excuse me, Dr. Scholes, what wonderful foot pad. At what point in history did a doctor become more than a trusted and learned friend who visited and treated the ill? Now, you ask me if I've been practicing medicine. Well, if this means opening your door to those in need, those in pain, caring for them, listening to them, applying a cold cloth until a fever breaks, if this is practicing medicine, if this is treating a patient, then I am guilty as charged, sir. If we're going to fight a disease, let's fight one of the most terrible diseases of all, indifference. Now I've sat in your schools and heard people lecture on transference and professional distance. Transference is inevitable, sir. Every human being has an impact on another. Why don't we want that in a patient-doctor relationship? That's why I've listened to your teachings and I believe they're wrong. A doctor's mission should be not just to prevent death, but also to improve the quality of life. That's why you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you'll win no matter what the outcome.